Good afternoon, folks. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I've just watched one of the most enjoyable games of football that I've ever watched. Uh, Wolves beating Leicester 4-3. An absolute cracker. Uh, two terrible defensive performances, which made for a very exciting game. Um, first of all, the team news. Uh, it was a big shock that Matt Doherty was benched by Nuno. Uh, Doherty ended up coming on for the last 15-20 minutes to get one point so that was that was pretty frustrating but again if he played he was likely to get you know probably only one point anyway um, Bolly was suspended uh, Madison was benched as well for Leicester which has happened quite a few times now this season he's a player with a lot of talent and a lot of potential when it comes to FPL but he's often benched by uh, Claude Puel which just puts me off him he, he did get an assist uh, for Morgan's header to, for the the third goal, uh, Leicester's third goal. Um, uh, Ricardo Ricardo Pereira played as a winger again, so Danny Simpson played right back, which which allowed Pereira to play on the wing again. And you know, first half, although uh, Wolves were two 0 up at half time, Leicester were probably the more attacking team in the first half. Uh, believe it or not, uh, a lot of chances uh, looked good going forward, and Ricardo was heavily involved in that. Um, but he got pretty frustrated, and then he got himself a yellow card. And I think he's going to end up on minus one because of the four goals conceded. So a bad day for Pereira owners. But uh, as far as the eye test goes, he still looked good to me going forward. Um, Leicester have three very tough games coming up now. But after that, I will be um, possibly looking to bring Ricardo in. Um, because we know that uh, Leicester are a good team uh, when it comes to blanks and doubles as well. So the main, the main takeaway from the eye test was Diego Jota. Uh, I seen a tweet just there from from Adam Hopcroft who said, "There's passing the eye test, and then there's passing the eye test." You know, referring to Jota, um, a hat trick, and it, it could have been even more. He had more chances, so it could have been even more than a hat trick. Um, priced at just five point nine million, he he actually got a shout out on my podcast last week for a for a fifty eighth minute, you know, substitution. Uh, just one point last week, and he and he missed. I think he missed three or four games before that. Um, so he's you know back with a bang now, less than one percent owned. So there's very few people going to be getting his points today. But he's he's going to see a lot of transfers in now uh, over the coming week. Um, probably going to get a couple of price rises there. So he's definitely he's going to go, be going straight onto my watch list this week. Uh, we'll just have some good fixtures coming up as well. So ten out of ten performance from Jota. You know eleven out of ten. You know if you can give him that, he was he was superb today. Um. Sticking with Wolves, uh, Ryan Bennett got a goal from a from a corner. So a lot of people are probably, you know, I know some people were 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 asking me about you know people who've got Alexander Arnold. A lot of people were saying you know should I take a minus four or should I just play Bennett? So I think you know there's going to be probably a few people going to be getting Bennett's uh, points this week. Now he did concede three goals, which is not ideal, and he got a yellow card as well. Um, but at least he's got the goal there to bring in probably around five points, I would imagine. Um, so good news for Bennett owners. Uh, two assists for Matinho as well, but again, he's pretty lowly owned. Um, and it was a great assist as well from Neves uh, for what for one of Jota's goals. But again, he's not very highly owned. So moving on to the Leicester guys then. Um, Damari Gray got a goal. He looked pretty sharp for most of the game. Um, I forgot to mention in that team news at the start that Madison was benched and it was Harvey Harvey Barnes who got his first Premier League start. He, he's been recalled, I think he was on loan at West Brom and he'd been doing pretty well there. So Barnes had a pretty shocking first half. You know, the, the Wills fans were getting on his back as well. But he came out second half and it looked like he'd scored his first goal for Leicester, but it, it's gone down as a, a Cody own goal, but it, it's an assist for Barnes. And he, he did look better in the second half. Yeah, before he was substituted, so he could be one to keep an eye on. I think he's around five point five million. Um, so if he can get a, you know, nailed in a starting place, he could be a a good option. Wes Morgan, he was terrible defensively. This uh, I I really don't understand why he starts ahead of Johnny Evans in that team. Um, Leicester were all over the place at the back with with Simpson and and Morgan playing there today. Um, but yeah, Morgan Morgan he he went and got himself on the score sheet then. Um, Harry Maguire actually went off injured early in the second half he, he went off around 47 minutes and Johnny Evans came on so that's a worry for anyone who owns Maguire um, what else do I need to mention before I wrap this up I didn't mention Jimenez uh, it was a uh, Jimenez it looked like he was going to blank 
uh, he, had a, he had a very good game, you know, FPL aside, he, he played, he, he linked up the play very well for Wolves, and he, and he, you know, he didn't have very many chances, he had, he did have one good chance that Schmeichel saved with his feet, um, but it looked, going towards 90 minutes, it looked like it was just going to be another two-pointer from Jimenez, but he got the assist then for Jota's winner, which was a very welcome, uh, you know, very welcome points in FPL, so probably a five-pointer from Jimenez, and that's all you can ask for Jimenez at his price, he's been great value, I think I got him at 5.8 million uh, a good few weeks ago, and he's, he's proven to be excellent value, so he's going to be going nowhere in my team. Even if he blanked today, I would have been keeping him. Uh, Vardy... Uh, Vardy didn't do an awful lot for Leicester up front. He did get an assist, but you know he didn't have too many chances. So he, I, I just really don't think he's worth the money this season. I just don't think the way Leicester set up under Puel suits Vardy, and I think he's even said that himself this season that the system doesn't really suit him. So I just don't think he's worth the, worth the cash. And again, Leicester have got very tough fixtures coming up. So I think that's the main takeaways. Uh, Jota, get him on your watch list. Um, a great game. So hopefully, hopefully the rest of the weekend is as good as, as that one was and hopefully there's plenty more exciting games coming up looking forward to watching Chelsea Arsenal later I should be able to watch 90 minutes of that one and get another eye test pot out for that one so uh, not sure if I'll get to see the games tomorrow more than likely going to be out and about tomorrow um, but we'll see see what happens so enjoy the rest of your Saturday folks uh, and, and enjoy your weekend as well whatever you're up to <laughs>